Hey guys, what's up? This is Karan here, back with a new video, and you're welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. In this video, I've installed Lenovo Z6 Pro's GSI on my Redmi Note 8, and you can install this GSI on your any device if you have a travel supported device. As you can see, this is my Moto Lenovo Z6 Pro according to this GSI. This is the GSI and it is actually totally broken it, there are a lot of major bugs available here and this is only for those if you want to test a new UI new operating system on your device and to feel how it looks like and those kind of things so which are the things you get here what are the features and what are the bugs in this major what are the major bugs in this GSI everything I'll try to show you in this video so let's get started now Okay, so I will as always start with the home screen as you can see this is the home screen the widget clock widget is here and Almost Chinese apps are available like this is also in Chinese. This is also in Chinese This one is not available as you can see unable to connect to the internet Your phone dialer pad if we check out actually the calling is perfectly working I'm using my carrier and it's working call is connecting Volt is not working but the thing is calls are connecting perfectly so there is no bug in calling in my case. If we talk about camera, as you can see unable to connect to the network. It means the camera is not pre-installed, no camera is installed, you cannot use camera. And I've tried to use Gcam from as my download section and Gcam is not working either. If you open Gcam, it will just look like a black screen and you cannot go back. It will take some time and then it will force close and then you can exit from here. So Gcam is not working. Any camera app is not working. As you can see, when you click photos, just scroll. You cannot use Gcam here. You cannot use the stock cam here. These main things are broken. Let me show you some other things which are broken. Like first of all, there's a Wi-Fi here. I have tried a lot of times to connect my Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is not connecting too. This is also a bug, but if you want SIM carrier, it's perfectly working. Your data services are properly working. A lot of things are there. These are working. Let me show you some features. One of the biggest thing which I just personally liked a lot is your fingerprint and face lock both are working and very very easily very good looking let me just show you yep automatically opens the face lock detects my face and it's perfectly working fingerprint is also fast if we talk about 4d you touch this is the full screen gestures which are perfectly working as you can see it's showing me that it is just disabled but actually it is not i'm using full screen gestures as you can see these are perfectly working and the these things looks very very cool let's move on further like wallpaper themes and fonts options are available themes fonts these kind of things here notification and status bar where you have the option on notification settings, badges, on lock screen, notification sound and battery percentage and show network real time speed. These are the features available which I am just showing you in Lenovo ZUI GSI. This is a travel supported GSI which you can install on any travel supported device. In display and brightness you have the option of changing the brightness level whichever you like you can choose that one. Always on display option is available. Unfortunately it's not working either. DC backlight a new thing available here auto rotate screen and at last fonts options are available if you go to more display settings you have two options prevent pocket dials and brightness enhancement these kind of things here I don't know these things are working or not but there are a lot of things which are broken so it's not recommended for you to use as a daily driver but yes if you want to try out new thing new build on your device new OS on your device just go for it and you will not see any type of lags and at all because animations are super smooth so it's just recommended to try out for once if you want to if we talk about battery battery backup is pretty much good because i'm using from some time and battery backup feels very good just two percent drop in last one hour which is just great just awesome in my opinion ZUA lab and general settings like languages and input, security and location, screenshot record, screen storage, accessibility, developer options are there. 
which are working yes you have the option of dark theme and light theme both of these options are available why because it is based on android 10 just let me show you once as you can see this is my redmi note 8 which i have installed zwei version 11.5 and it's based on android 10 and one of the best thing which i personally like a lot is 1st of march 2020 security patch this is the latest build this is the latest gsi so this was all from all this gsi as i already told you it's not recommended for you to use as a daily driver but yes if you just want to try out a new build you can try out all the things are in chinese just for a test build and and all these things are here if you want to install this installation video link is in description make sure to follow that and that's all thanks for watching and have a nice day